Let's move on to um, M&A. Any rumours in Europe this morning? Um, not so much Europe, but uh, but stories sort of drifting across the... Uh, the US uh, of A again. Uh, yeah. Um, Conagra Foods, very active uh, yesterday um, uh, and uh, traded up uh, by seven, nearly seven and a half percent after hours uh, to forty-two dollars, and the reason was uh, that uh, Jana Partners, quite a well-known hedge fund in the in the US, announced a seven point two percent stake. Um, didn't have any holding at all in Conagra. So build that up in six yeah. months. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, in fact, in three months it was cute. Yeah, at the end of March. It, yep. it didn't have a single share. Um, it's. Uh, it's very much uh, a confirmed activist hedge fund, and uh, we'll see why it's interested in uh, in Conagra now. Conagra bought uh, three years ago a uh, business from a company called Railcorp, a own brand grocery business, and uh, paid about five billion dollars for that. And that was a an idea really that they they wanted to sp attempt to spur growth at Conagra. And in fairness, um, uh, there's been a, there's been growing demand for own brand goods, and so it seemed it seemed like a good idea. However, the execution hasn't been particularly successful. And in fact, uh, Conagra has had to write, take several large write downs, including one recently of about $1.3 billion, I believe. So um, he, so Jana thinks that that Brow Cork deal was disastrous for Conagra. Conagra management's saying, well, you know, we're disappointed by the Rail Cork deal, but look, our stock's up 30% over the last 52 weeks, which is hardly to be sneezed at, although the S&P average is still around 46%. Right. Jenna says we're going to have, we want seats on the board. They've lined up uh, people that used to be at General Mills, at Nestle, people with lots of experience in the food business. Um, they want to see a big change in strategy at Conagra. They want to, they want to realise shareholder value. And they say that despite the gains, the company is an undervalued. So it's not necessarily a takeover play at the moment, but it's a, it's a, it's a you know, it's one where Jenner are going to try and change the way that Conagra does business, and I, I imagine that would mean sorry, spinning off some businesses or trying to return money to shareholders in some form or another. Understood.